the Atlantic Puffin. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote-controlled car. I can make the car move using this controller. I can make the car go round in circles. I can make the car drive in a figure eight. I can make the car drive really far away. And I can make it drive back again. It's a bird. Where did you come from? I've never seen a bird like this before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a bird. We found it in the garden. Hi, Leo. So cute. I like the colors on its beak. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, take care of our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Yes, I did, Leo. The bird you found is an Atlantic puffin. Atlantic puffins can be recognized by their colorful beaks. Like most birds, Atlantic puffins can fly. But they can also swim underwater using their wings and webbed feet. The Atlantic Puffin is a fast swimmer and can stay underwater for up to a minute. The Atlantic Puffin mostly eats small fish such as herring and sand eels. Atlantic Puffins can catch several small fish in one dive. They use their tongue to hold fish in their mouth, so they leave their beaks free to catch even more fish. That's amazing! I've never seen such a bird before. Where does it come from? Atlantic puffins come from far up north. They live on sea coasts and islands around the Atlantic Ocean. More than half of the world's Atlantic puffins are found around Iceland. About 8 to 10 million puffins live there. That's a lot of puffins. So our puffin is a really long way from Iceland. And it's too hot for it to stay here. We should bring it back home. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to Iceland, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought an Atlantic puffin. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to take it back to its home. That's great, Katie. Atlantic puffins spend most of their lives out at sea. But during spring and summer, the puffins return to land to breed. So that's when they look for a partner and the females lay eggs. Pairs of Atlantic puffins often become partners for life. They return to the same nest year after year. This Atlantic puffin must have gotten lost while trying to get back to its nest. So where can we find its nest? Atlantic puffins like to build their nests high up on cliffs. Some of them even nest in rabbit holes. Many puffins choose to build their nests in old rabbit holes. Unfortunately, some puffins have been known to chase rabbits out of their holes. But in some cases, puffins and rabbits can live side by side. So we should look for some cliffs or rabbit holes. That's right. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Well, here we are. I don't see any puffin nests around here. Maybe we can find some below the cliff. Let me take a closer look. Leo! Leo! Um, I could use some help, Katie. I can't reach you, Leo. Let me get a rope. Hang on. Oh, no! There's no rope in the Jeep. Leo, I can't find a rope. I have rope in my backpack, remember? 
Can you throw one end of the rope? I... I don't think so, Katie. One wrong move and I'll fall. Oh, no! What can we do now? Ah! Oh! Hi, Puffin! Thank you, Puffin. Now we can pull Leo up. Why don't you use the Jeep? That's much, huh? Easier. Great. Katie already had the same idea. Ranger Rocky! You should be more careful, Junior Ranger. Cliff edges can be unstable or very slippery, so stay away from them. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Well, at least you're safe now, Leo. Yeah. So what should we look for now? That's easy, Junior Rangers. If you want to find the Puffin's nest, just look for a hole in the grass. Not for a statue made of glass or a fat sea bass, but look for a hole in the grass. I see. So not for a statue made of glass or a fat sea bass, but, but look for a hole, hole in the, in the grass. grass. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the Puffin's nest, you have to look for a hole in the grass. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the Puffin's nest. There is grass, but can you see any holes in the grass? Hmm, no. So let's continue. Is there a hole in this grass? Yes, there is a hole. But the hole already belongs to a lot of rabbits. So let's move on. There is grass. Is that a hole? Yes, it is. And there are other puffins in their nests. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Look. It's the Puffin's partner. We did it. We found the Puffin's nest. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found an Atlantic Puffin in our garden. We learned that Atlantic Puffins return to the same nest every year to breed. So we went to Iceland to help the puffin find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Hi, Junior Ranger Kai. Glad you made it. Hi, Zari. Thanks for inviting me and Greenie over. Look, Greenie, it's such a beautiful day. Doesn't it make you want to sing? <sighs> Greenie just stopped singing one day. I don't know what's wrong. Hmm, I really thought bringing him out here would help. <gasps> Let me try something. <laughs> that didn't work. Maybe Greenie's just unhappy? <gasps> or do you think he's sick? Oh, I know who can help us. Ranger Katie saw a lion, E-I-E-I-O. And that big lion uh, uh. looked so strong, E-I-E-I-O. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Look who's with me. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. We need your help. Meet Greeny. He's a greater green leaf bird. We're trying to get him to sing, but nothing seems to work. Hmm, let me see what I can find on the computer. Stay with us, Sari and Kai. Greater Green Leaf Bird. Here we go. The Greater Green Leaf Bird is the largest and heaviest of the leaf birds. They get their name from their green feathers, which helps them blend into the environment. Males have black feathers on their faces, while females have yellow feathers at their throats and a ring of yellow feathers around their eyes. 
greater green leaf birds have a loud voice, which helps them communicate over long distances. It sounds like this. Wow! So that's what Greenie's supposed to sound like! If only Greenie would sing like that. We'll come right over to help. Ranger, out. Let's hurry over to Zari. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo, all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we go! Ba 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 bee bee boo. <laughs> I thought that would at least get a chirp from him. Hi, Kai. Hi, Zari. Did Greenie sing? Did we miss it? Hey, guys. No, you didn't miss anything. Maybe if we sing for him, he might want to join in. Ranger Katie saw a lion. Oh, boy. E -I -E -I -O. oh, man. Still nothing. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What are you doing on this glorious day? We're trying to help Kai's bird friend, Greenie, find his voice. Ah, greater green leaf birds do sound lovely. Their calls are a sequence of smooth warbles mixed with chattering and the mimicry of other bird calls. It has a powerful hooked bill, which it uses to pierce fruits. The bird also uses its bill to get nectar when it visits flowers. Sorry, Junior Rangers. I've got to finish my run. Good luck with Greeny. Bye, Ranger Rocky. We still don't know how to help Greeny. Didn't Ranger Rocky say that these leaf birds mimic other types of birds? Well, we should look for other birds. Great idea, Katie. We'll look in the forest over there. You guys stay here and keep Greeny company. Sure. Okay, Leo. Jet, Jet pack, pack activate. activate. Found anything, Katie? Not yet, Leo. I'm gonna take a closer look. Hmm. Where could all the birds be? Oh! <laughs> I guess they're not in here. Leo, Katie, you're back. And with bird friends. Maybe one of them can help Greeny sing. <laughs> Whoa! Look at how many birds Hero found. Great work, guys. Now let's help Greeny sing. else we can try? Hello, Junior Rangers. How's it coming along? We found some birds to help Greeny sing, but that didn't work. Oh, my. If it's so hard to find others like Greeny, does that mean we can't do anything to help him? Cheer up, Junior Rangers. You can try again tomorrow. Besides, whether Greeny sings or not, you've helped him meet so many new friends. You're right, Ranger Rocky. We should get these birds home. Let's fly them back, Hero. <laughs> hero, you okay? Hey, yellow throat feathers, yellow eye ring. It looks like a female greater green leaf bird. Greeny, you're singing. Yeah. You go, Greeny. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to help the greater green leaf bird sing. Ranger Katie saw a lion, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, that's smart, Hero. E Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hello? Hello? Aha! Another lizard! That's three so far. Any more animals around here? Huh? Aw, are you okay? Where's your mom? Don't worry, I'll help you find her. One, two, three, Hide, hero. four, Hide. five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Ready or not, here I come. 
found you, hero. Leo, come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah! <laughs> Leo. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. I found a lost baby bird. I don't see its mom anywhere. Aw, it's so cute. I wonder what type of bird it is. Let's find out more information about it on the computer. Stay on the line, Zari. Let's see what we have here. Oh, Zari found a brown hawk owl. The brown hawk owl is also known as the oriental hawk owl or the brown boo book. They're found in a wide range of countries in South Asia and Southeast Asia. They live in forests and some nature parks, feeding on pests like insects and rodents. The owl has dark brown feathers and yellow eyes and feet. It's just as white with brown patches shaped like <laughs> hearts. They are nocturnal, which means they're more active at night. Brown hawk owls have a very loud call and are more often heard than seen. I hope his mother isn't too far from where I found him. Don't worry, Zari. We'll be right over. Ranger, out. Let's find the baby owl's mom. I'll see you downstairs. Ranger Leo, all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, we go! go. for coming, guys. We need to find its mom. Let's split up. Katie, come with me. Hero and I will look down here. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. Mama Owl, you in here? No. I found you. <laughs> Screechy sounds? I have an idea. Groundhog owls make loud calls. If we listen closely for the loud call, we can find its mom. Great idea. But, uh, what do they sound like? Like this. We can pick up the mama owl's call with this. That's a frog. What about over there? Nope, just more bats. Try over there, Zari. That's it! To the forest! <laughs> Mama Owl, we found your baby! Ah! Having trouble, Junior Rangers? Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <gasps> Hello, Junior Rangers! What are you doing in a bush? I'm practicing my camouflaging skills. What are you Junior Rangers up to? We're trying to return this baby owl to his mom, but she won't let us get any closer. I know how to get closer to the nest. We need to be as quiet as the owl when it's catching its prey. And I can help you become a master of camouflage. All done. Huh? Where's Leo? Can't you see me? I'm right here. Leo? Wow, this camouflage is great. You look exactly like a bush. <laughs> Wrong bush, Katie. <laughs> that is good. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get you back to mom safe and sound. We'll distract the mama owl. to be mice didn't work. Silly me. We can use this. to 
to go home. You did well, Junior Rangers. Good night. Oh, Leo. Let's go home. Guys, come over here. Wait for me. Mission accomplished. We managed to put the baby owl back in its nest. Now, back to our game. Katie, Hero, ready or not, I'll find you. <laughs> Katie? <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers.